Okay, hi. Uh, we're going to attempt to describe how I made a vacuum maple syrup filter, and it seems to work pretty good. This here is an eight gallon uh, brewing pot, brewing kettle that I got from Toronto Brewing, and it came with that thermometer, which is half inch thread, and that stainless steel ball valve. I'll show you some of the parts later. I put that on for easy bottling and to bring it up to temperature when I bottle. Um, it's held together with uh, four of these clamps, these little uh, over center clamps. I got those off of. Uh, Amazon stainless screws there. This is a silicon baking mat. Uh, I'll show you that to you in a second here. This pot, the bottom one is from Toronto Brewing. This top one, I just hunted around and found this one here from uh, Walmart in town. And it fits perfectly, creates a perfect seal in there. And it was cheap, it was like 20 bucks. But uh, I'll show you the guts of it here and how it works. These just pop off. Oh, here's the vacuum port back here. You can see it's all stainless and that just goes into the vacuum and it that works pretty good. So, oh, this comes off here and uh, I, I have a bunch of um, uh, artificial uh, felt, uh, polyester felt that uh, I make these uh, pancakes or frying pans out of and they're just quick release. I, I take four or five of them when I filter and once one gets clogged, it comes out, all the syrup stays in and go down to the next one. I keep working my way down. This is a, a two micron Orlon filter that I got from CDL and Barry. And you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, really nicely drilled holes in there. That took a while. But that being said, inside the pot, that filter normally doesn't fall in. Um, it is, well, that just pops right off. I could go stainless or I could just leave it like that. But so far it seems like none of the water or none of the Maple syrup uh, will get sucked into it. Uh, it's heavy enough and dense enough that it goes down. Um, it's not really dirty, it's just it's just water, it's damp. And here's some of the parts that I used. Um, this was a baking mat and it worked out perfectly. It was a couple of bucks off of Amazon. Silicon, high temperature, food safe, and I cut out a beautiful gasket. These little bulkheads I also got from Amazon. Uh, one inch threaded stainless, they seem to work like a charm. They're counter threaded. This I got from my local home hardware, they got everything. Um, these little uh, 90 degrees I got off of Amazon, same thing, or on my home hardware, they have them as well. Super cheap and uh, makes for a really nice bottling. But that's all it is.